I know that Michael got in touch with me because he'd seen my work uh, on Shakespeare. Um, and Shakespeare, I have to tell you, has become the central, complete obsession of my life. Um, I think I've read every book, biography, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, my, my shelves grown with them. And I've now um, directed 12 of his plays, a couple of them twice. And um, I'm never happier than when I'm in a rehearsal room with Shakespeare. But it, it's worth saying that I have grown to a view, which is that he's the toughest to get right and the easiest to get wrong. And you have to approach Shakespeare with a very particular set of knowledge. You cannot, you approach Shakespeare without knowledge, without expertise, at your peril. And I think you'll, you'll fall flat. You'll, 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 you'll make a twit of yourself. And so how we approach this language that was written over 400 years ago by the greatest writing genius I suspect the world will ever see um, is a very particular challenge. And you, if, if, you, if you were a, a reasonable clarinet player, and I said, you know, uh, you're, you're, you've got to, I said, I've seen you in a sort of Dixie band the weekend and you, you, you improvise beautifully around the, around the jazz and it's great. But I'm going to give you a couple of uh, Mozart's clarinet concertos to play because you're clearly a good clarinet player. You'd want to know about Mozart. You'd want to know how, how, what, that, what those dots on the page meant. What are the guys? How do, I, how do I approach this? And I would say to actors, you have to learn about Shakespeare in exactly the same way as you'd learn about Beethoven or Mozart if you're a musician. Um, because he's constantly giving you what I describe in rehearsals as Christmas presents. They're just sitting there waiting to be unwrapped. Uh, and mainly at two levels. On, on the level of who am I? Who is my character? And, he's, and he'll always give you the clues in the language. Start with the text. And the second is actually how to play it. Actually how to do it. He's offering you clues at the same time in the structure of the language and the structure of the verse. I don't understand any actor who has decided they want to become an actor and doesn't want to have a go at Shakespeare. It's like saying, uh, I just love climbing mountains. Everest doesn't interest me at all. I mean, it's the dullest mountain, you know, what are you talking about? It's the greatest challenge to a mountaineer. Don't you want to try? Uh, and, and all the actors that, that, that um, the company has put forward to me have walked in with this passion to, to tackle 